Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick, he's our pick. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Nick Show. And I'm your host, Mr. Nick. And this is my co-host, Allie. Hi. Today, we are going to be starting our new series about outer space. And this episode is going to be all about the sun. Let's get started. Let's start off with what is the sun? The sun is a star that's at the center of our solar system. Now, you may think that's a pretty big star because, well, we can see it more than any other stars in the sky, but it's actually just an average sized star. But because it's the closest star to Earth, that's how come we can see it so well. How close is it? Eh, only about 93 million miles from Earth, which that's pretty darn far. But even though it's about 93 million miles away from Earth, it only takes eight minutes for light to travel from the sun to Earth. Pretty, pretty fast, considering how far away it is. The sun is about 4.5 billion years old. That's really old. That's older than any grandparent or great-grandparent or great-great-great-great-great-grandparent you could ever imagine. And it's mostly made up of what's called helium and hydrogen. Now the sun is pretty hot, which is how come, you know, we can feel the heat from the sun. So on Earth, you know, it might get up to like 120, 130 degrees, which is really, really hot. The sun can get around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like 100 times hotter. So the sun, like I said, is the center of our solar system. That means there's eight planets that rotate or orbit around the sun. So the sun doesn't go anywhere, but these planets, including Earth, which is the third closest to the sun, orbit around the sun. And how long does it take for Earth to orbit around the sun? 365 Point two six days. So what does that mean? 365 days? That's one year. It takes one year for the Earth to fully orbit around the sun. So what does that mean? Hmm, so if you're like six years old, that means you yourself have gone around the sun six times. That's pretty cool. And so even though the sun is an average sized star, it's huge. It's 110 times larger than Earth. That means you can fit 1 million Earths inside the sun. Yeah, take Earth and give it a million more, put it inside the sun. That's how big the sun is. And have you ever heard of a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse doesn't happen that often. And when it does, you can't even see it from all parts of Earth. But that's when the moon gets between the sun and Earth. So we'll talk about the moon in a different episode, and we'll talk about Earth in a different episode. But when the moon lines up between sun and Earth, that's a solar eclipse, and it only lasts for a couple of minutes. It's not safe to look directly at with your eyes without protection. And just cast a shadow from the moon onto the sun. It doesn't fully block the sun, but depending on where exactly it is, you can cast a pretty good shadow on the sun, which looks pretty cool when it happens. That was a lot of information about the sun, but I think it was pretty cool. That was a lot of information in a short amount of time, so I'm have to watch that episode again. But it is one of a few different episodes we're gonna have in this series all about outer space. Hey guys, you know what time it is. It's time for the joke of the day! <laughs> All right, Allie, are you ready for this one? Yes. Okay, why did the sun go to school? Mm, I don't know. To get brighter. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you liked that one. And be on the lookout for episodes about Earth, the moon, astronauts, our galaxy, the Milky Way. All right, if you guys liked that episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all the other episodes. We'll see you next time. Bye! Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pick. It's Mr. Nick. Yay!